Good morning, kids. Welcome to English Grade 3, Quarter 3, Week 1. I am your teacher, Ma Michelle Pedroso. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Welcome to our English class. Prepare the following materials, your English module, notebook, and pen. Our objective, increase your vocabulary through homonyms, homographs, and hyponyms. Lesson 1, Homonyms. What are homonyms? Homonyms refer to words that have the same sounds and sometimes spellings, but have different meaning. Example, fair and fair. Fair means being equal, while the second word fair refers to the money being paid in riding a public vehicle. Fair and fair are homonyms because they have the same sound but with different spelling and meaning. Another example. Watch and watch. Watch refers to time period, while the second word watch means to look at something for a period of time. Watch and watch are homonyms because they have the same sound and spelling but with different meaning. Another example, change and change. The first word change refers to the money returned after buying something that costs less than the amount given. While well, the second word change means to make something different. Change and change are homonyms because they have the same sound and also spelling but with different meaning. Remember children, homonyms refer to words that have the same sound but have different meanings. Sometimes these words have either same or different spellings. In English, there are many words that are considered homonyms. Letter A, same sound but with different spellings, plain and plain. The first word plain means not decorated or nothing added, while the second word plain means a vehicle designed for air travel. Plain and plain are homonyms because they have the same sound but with different spelling and meaning. Letter B, same sound and spelling, letter and letter. The first word letter means individual items in the alphabet like A, B, and C. The second word letter refers to a male. Letter and letter are homonyms because they have the same sound and spelling but with different meaning. Let's try this. Match the items in column A with their homonyms in column B. Write the letters of your answers in your notes. What do you think are the correct answers? Match column A with column B. Okay, let's check. Number one. What is the correct answer? Okay, very good. That is letter B. Sign and sign are homonyms. How about number two? The correct answer is letter C. Very good. Bark and bark are homonyms. And number three, the correct answer is letter A. Flu and flu are homonyms. Very good. Again, children, what are homonyms? Homonyms refer to words that have the same sound but have different meanings. Sometimes, these words have either same or different spellings. Examples are sun, sun, right, right, plain, plain, male, male, and other. Now let us proceed with lesson 2. Homographs. What are homographs? Homographs are types of homonyms. They have the same spellings but with different sounds and meaning. Example, read and read. Read means you are instructed to read something, while read is the past tense of read. Read and read are homographs. They have the same spelling but with different sound and meaning. Another example, bow and bow. Bow, bending the head or body forward. Bow, a weapon for shooting arrows. Bow and bow are homographs. They have the same spelling but with different sound and meaning. Another example, minute and minute. Minute, record of what was said in a meeting. Well, minute, time composed of 60 seconds. Minute and minute are homographs. They have the same spelling but with different sound and meaning. Remember children, homographs are types of homographs.
monics. They have the same spellings but with different sounds and meaning. Examples. Live and live. Live performance played while happening. Live, stay alive, or spend life. Live and live are homographs. They have the same spelling but with different sound and meaning. Let's try this activity. Identify the correct answer for each item. Write the letters of your answers from the choices below. Choose your answers in the box. A. Object. Expressing opposition. B. Object. A thing that one can see, smell, taste, or touch. C. Record. Storing of information by writing them on a paper or storing them in an electronic device. D. Record. Piece of information written on a paper or stored in an electronic device. Number 1. The teacher presented her class blank to her pupil. Number 2. The doctor will blank the test finding. Number three, the townspeople will block the proposal to cut down trees. Number four, this rock is the blank that I saw while on my way home. What do you think are the correct answers? Let us check. Number one, the teacher presented her class blank to her pupils. Flowers. What are the hyponyms of the general word flower? Orchid. Daisy. Rose. Lirio. Gumamela. Sampagita. Sunflower. And lily are the hyponyms of the general word flower. Another example. For the general word fruits, what are the hyponyms? We have mango, orange, apple, and grape. They are the hyponyms of the general word fruits. Another example. General word shapes, what are the hyponyms? We have circle. Square, triangle, and rectangle. They are the hyponyms of the general word shape. Remember, children, hyponyms, these are the specific examples of a general word group or classification. Another example for color. What are the hyponyms? We have yellow, blue, red, and green. Now let us try this. Using the given words, identify the hyponyms taken from the given sentence. Write your answers in your notebook. Number one, the general word is food. We will go to the supermarket and buy meat and fish for tomorrow's celebration. Number two, the general word is parents. Mother and father are both wearing pink shirts. 
Number 3. The general word is drinks. What is the taste of milk and coffee if you mix them together? And number 4. Insects. Frags eat mosquitoes and bats. Are you ready to check? Okay, let's see the correct answer. For number 1, the general word is food. What are the hyponyms? We have meat and fish. Number 2. The general word is parents. What are the hyponyms? We have mother and father. Very good. For number 3, the general word is drinks. What are the hyponyms? We have milk and coffee. And for number 4, the general word is insects. What are the hyponyms? We have mosquitoes and bats. Very good, children. Again, what are hyponyms? Remember, hyponyms are the specific examples of a general word group or classification. Examples are sweet, sour, and bitter for the general word taste. Now, do the activity in your English module. Thank you for listening.